Welcome to Jank Play TCG. My name's Landon, and here we play Jank. And today I'm showing off One Two Kick Popper. It is the deck that I'm going to be playing during the uh, Popper tournament happening now in a couple hours. Uh, if you see this right when it goes out, so I highly recommend jump in the Discord if you want to join and let's play some Popper and let's play in this fun tournament doesn't matter who wins everyone's gonna get something i've got so many code cards i gotta be giving some away so um one two kick popper this is because it is a one two hit right you hit with one attack then you hit with a second attack and that second attack is what matters so we're looking at rabombi right with the plentiful pollen attack colorless energy 30 damage during your next turn if the defending pokemon is knocked out take one more prize cards or no sorry two more that's why rabombi is so good you take two more prize cards so in popper one of the things is that usually you gotta take six ko's and six ko's can take a while right well with rabombi you only have to take two ko's which is the insane part only attacking four times total you can actually win right so with rabombi 30 damage and then during your next turn if you're able to ko the defending pokemon you take two more prizes for a grand total of three and what could we use as the final blow in order to justify this, right? And you know me, I love my grass type. So I'm going with Serena here. Uh, with the spinning kick attack, 160 damage for only two energy is going to KO most popper things, right? Uh, especially when you add in the 30 from Rabombi. So that's 190, right? What's surviving 190? Um, and also, it's got this really fun uh, utility attack called Queenly Heal, where during your opponent's next turn, Pokemon can't be played from your opponent's hand to evolve the defending Pokemon. So if they are just, they're not able to get their evolutions out fast enough, you can just Queenly Heal their unevolved Pokemon and really take advantage there. So you got kind of dual purpose attacks here, right? Um, with Serena and you mix that with Rabombi and hopefully you're winning games quickly. Uh, in order to get this working, we got to throw in Curlia, right? Curlia is the engine of the popper format, the standard popper format because PTCGL will not let us play expanded friendly matches. We got to play standard. And then when it comes to popper, it's, it's gotta be you know, standard, because that's the only way to play friend matches, right? So, yeah, sadly, that's what we're at currently. Hopefully, things have improved soon. But, yeah, this Serena, I, I, I think it can be fun. I think there's some unique things we can do with it. Um, and with that, we're playing 8 Grass Energy. Nothing special, just 8 Grass Energy, because the Spinning Kick does need two full Grass Energies, even though the Rabombi needs Colorless. So Rabombi can still take Grass, while Serena, Serena uh, still needs those Grass Energies. So uh, going into Trainers. Now this deck I've actually been sitting on for a little while because I thought it was fun. Um, and so it's gone through more revisions than most of my Popper decks. But to start off, we're playing three rare candy that's right we've got bond sweet at four we got stanini at three and then we got serena at four because i think it's really difficult to get six attackers right and you shouldn't need six attackers but i just think these lines make sense and i could be wrong it could make more sense to go four Stanini, since we're playing the TM Evolution, or it could make to go two make sense to go two and just rely on four rare candy. You know, everyone's numbers are gonna be different. And then we've got two copies of Switch because we don't want Curlia stuck in the active, so we go with Switch in order to get them out. We've got four copies of Bite Bite Poffin because all of our basics are below 70 HP. So we're good there we've got four copies of youngster nice shuffle draw didn't want to be discarding too much because we have uh we we need more space right so uh i i went with the shuffle draw option 
We got one copy of Hisuian Heavy Ball, just to grab what basics we need, since we're playing 2-2 line of Curlia and 2-2 line of Rabombi. If one is prized and one gets KO'd, it can be messy. So we got that one Heavy Ball. Two copies of Super Rod, that's all I could fit, honestly. Um, and... I wish I could fit more, but that's why we've got the rare candies, right? To help back up the Stanini and not fully rely on one of those strategies. So, super odd here uh, to help get us back what we need. We got two copies of Big Air Balloon, so our Serenas can have those free retreats, right? So, uh, that way we're not stuck in the active with anything. Next up, we've got three copies of Technical Machine Evolution. Uh, this is to more quickly evolve into what we need, right? We might have something in the active, and we need to evolve our bench Pokemon. This is how we're going to get those evolutions out faster, hopefully. We've got three copies of Gardenia's Vigor. Any Grass accel Acceleration is very much needed in the deck. we got to get two on our uh, Serena's while there's... Uh, there's a Rabombi that also needs to attack, right? There's a lot going on here. So Gardevoir's Vigor just to help us out. Two copies of Poke Gear to help us keep going. One copy of Roxanne, and that way we can try to punish our opponent if they get too far ahead, right? So Roxanne is a great way to try to punish the opponent. We got four copies of Ultra Ball to help us find our evolutions, and two copies of Arvin. We got a lot of items in here. We got two different sets of tools. Hopefully Arvin can pull us out of a jam, right? And that's the deck, really. You get one hit with Rabombi. You get a second kick, spinning kick, with uh, Sarini here, Serena here. And, uh, you know, th that's, that's the way it goes. This is the popper format. Let's see if we can get a popper match going. Um, did he send a thing? Oh, I will let him know that I am ready. All right, let's go back home and wait for that invite, right? Do, do, do. Ooh, someone new joined the Discord. Let's see. Awesome. Yeah, good stuff. Love seeing new people in the Discord. Like I mentioned, we're having a tournament this Friday, happening possibly right now, but it's at, at, at noon uh, Pacific, and yeah. All right, let's join the match. Now, people will recognize this is the same opponent that I had in the uh, Serena uh, match. So, hopefully they brought a different deck. But if they didn't, that's fine too. They had a very fun Exploud deck. So, uh, it was real awesome to get to see that. But let's see how 1-2 Kick does, right? Our opponent is choosing heads. Okay, flipping the coin. Tails. We want to go first, definitely. Yes. Tails never fails, so let's keep moving forward with this. Okay. We get the Cutify start, which, okay, it uh, it could have been better. We get no Buddy Buddy Poffins. <gasps> oh no, it's the Apom deck. Alright, I heard people talking about this. It uses Matang and it accelerates energy onto the Apom. The Apom's very flippy, but also, um, uh, what if I can't KO it, right? That's that's one of the issues. So, oh, the Beldum. The Beldum start. Ooh, oh my goodness. This is getting... Oh, so good. Um, let's see. They'll... Oh, okay. They So they don't have an attack there. Okay. I like it. I like it. I see what... I see what we're doing here. Um, yeah. Legitimately, I could have a KO next turn. Depending on how bad my opponent's start is, I could have a KO. There's Arvin. They're, they gotta grab Buddy Buddy Poffin then. And yeah, there it is. <laughs> okay. I'm not getting the KO. <laughs> And that's okay, but <laughs> it would have been intense if I did. <laughs> uh, okay, so one one thing, it's always my biggest failure in deck building is the fact that I forget to put in uh, gusting cards, right? No counter catchers here. 
wow, they got a lot going on there. Um, let's go ahead, Gardenia's Vigor. Okay, we can actually Queen's Heal this. And I think I'm going to. Queenly Heal. So we're going to have 30 damage because they're resistant, but we're going to prevent them from evolving this Beldum too. So hopefully that will slow things down just that tiny bit, right? Um, we got two Curlias in hand. I could discard one and just super rot it back later uh, for with the Ultra Ball, I'm thinking. Um, but I, I don't know. I just don't know. There's Iono. Cool. So we might get a new hand. Makes me really wish I put the big uh, balloon on there, right? We get the Rabombi. Okay. Okay. We could Arvin for the big uh, balloon. And we could get Buddy Buddy. And um, yeah, I think that's the play. And then we Rabombi attack. Oof. Do we Rabombi attack? That's tough to say now. Because if I Rabombi attack, it's going to KO it, right? And it won't be during my next turn. So. Huh. And that will give them an opportunity to attack. Bye bye. And a big air balloon. Cool, cool, cool. So we're going to Buddy Buddy. Bond Sweet and Ralts. Love that combo. We will grass energy there. Let's play that down. And then we're just going to queenly heal and attack. KOing the Beldum. Okay. We get one prize. Only one because we didn't have Rabombi attack last turn, sadly. Um, dang. Okay. A palm. A palm needs three heads in order to KO uh, Serena, right? Uh, man, my brain is not functioning right now. I do apologize. Was that a metal maker? And they got zero energy. And there's another metal maker. Are they going to get another zero energy? Is my question here. Oh, just one energy. Okay, well. There's a two, and they can flip, and they won't get the KO guaranteed, right? Unless they have some other way to accelerate energy that I don't know of. Putting the Beldum and the uh, Metal Energy back in. Gotcha. I don't know. No, I have Rare Candy. Ah, It's fine, I guess. Whatever. Stanini. Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> this is not a bad... Uh, uh, choice here. So, nice. <laughs> yeah, so we'll just retreat into the Rabombi and let the Rabombi attack, right? Now, they do accelerate a lot of energy, and their retreat cost is only one. So, uh, they'll probably retreat out, right? That would be my guess, is that they're going to retreat out. We're going to grab a Bond Suite and a Ralts. No other Q to fly. Look at that. That's interesting, isn't it? Um, so let's retreat here. Let's go with Rabombi. Wait. Why zero? Why does it say zero? I'm confused. I must be confused. We're going to discard those two. We're going to go grab a Curlia. Yeah, that. Refinement. Do, do, do. Okay, now it says 30. I don't know why. I think it was because uh, it's a coin flip, right? There's a chance that they flip heads and they don't take damage, which is going to be a pain. But are they going to rely on that coin flip, right, uh, to try to protect them from Serene, Serena here uh, swinging in and knocking out the A-Palm, and B-Palm, or are they going to retreat out? is my big question. 
If they don't retreat out, I'll find that interesting. If they do retreat out, I'll find that interesting. Attaching to the Matang? Was that a misclick? Or are they going for beam? Okay. What's going on here? <laughs> How much energy do you think they play right now? Hmm. Okay, there's the retreat. Yep. And Beldum. Okay. Search your deck for a card. Shuffle your deck, then put it on top of it. Okay. Magnetic lift. Yeah, they can put a card on top of their deck. Got it. Whew. But for now, I think I'm just going to continue to Plentiful Pollen. And then when I get the opportunity, I'll just take three prizes, right? Okay, I have i don't think I need the Technical Machine Evolution anymore. Rare Candy, no. Alright, so then I will just Plentiful Pollen. Yes, I want to hold on to this grass energy because I don't really know what my opponent is planning on doing or what they're doing in general. Um, and so this is kind of letting me put this grass energy on something else if need be, right? Like if they gust up uh, Serena and KO it, then I've got this grass energy to put on the Stanini or something, right? So I've got options here. Metal Maker... Okay, they got something from the deck. Where are they putting it? Onto that Ambi Palm. Got it. They're going to Mel Maker again. They're going to Mel Maker again. There you go. Um, and let's see. See, this is so risky because you're putting so much energy out there that I think think I'm just going to get the KO, right? And they're not even three tails, four tails. Never punished. Um, I could just retreat to Serena now and get this KO, which I think I'm going to, because how do I pass that up? There's four energy attached to that sucker. Like I want that. <laughs> That's rare candy. Since I got it, why not use it? Right? We got the grass energy I'll throw down on this one and then I will youngster oh look at that holy cow so good we got two energy in the discard ooh I don't like that and one Pokemon there I don't like that I could just go ahead and do that but let's see I'm going to bring this up and queenly heal now this isn't my normal strategy right normally i'm trying to uh, okay they got heads um that's not good normally i'm trying to get the ko's after attacking with rabombi right but the ko's keep presenting themselves and i don't want to shy away from that right so they need two heads in order to ko they do have a fit they do have a pretty good chance of that, right? Um, some would say it's a, like a 50% chance of hitting those two heads. Okay. I should have, I should have just attacked with Rabombi, shouldn't I? I think I should have. They got the two heads. Yeah, three to one. Yeah, they got it. So that's the difficulty against this deck, is that um, it's a 50% chance whether or not anything works, which is frustrating, uh, to say the least. Uh, super Rod, going to get one, two, and I think that back. Let's just get all that back. And then we're going Youngster. I'm going to refinement the TM evolution. Done. That's Ultra Ball. One, two, done. And grab a Curlia. Yeah. I like it. 
That grass energy I will place there. Let's do it. Let's see. Let's see what happens, right? Tails. Cool. Now they got to retreat. So they're going to retreat into... How much energy is in the discard? Okay, so they super rotted... Okay. How many... Su they probably play a max of four super rods. Are there any other ways to recover energy? Maybe there's like a Pokemon with an attack. I'm thinking Basque Legion, but no, he, he I don't think it has a um a chance. I don't think it I, I think it's rare. I don't think it's popper. No energy off the first metal maker. Come on, no energy off the second. Just have a Mantang stuck in the active. No, they got it. Okay. They got it. Yep, and then they attach one from hand. Yep. But now I get to KO Matang, and that's pretty cool. I just need a grass energy. That's it. Just one grass. I'll get it. Right? I think so. Alright, bye, Stanini. There goes one. Youngster. Wow, really? Still? Um, refinement. I should have buddy buddied first. Oh, well. I get the grass energy. Heck yeah, never punished. And we'll grab our last bond sweet. Spinning kick. Just knock it out. Be done with it and all. Uh, so there goes that. And we'll grab another prize. We're tied up on prizes currently. I'm not loving my position. I need my Hisuian Heavy Ball. But I think both my Arvin are gone. And I'm not even sure if it's in the deck. Yeah, both my Arvin are gone. I'm not even sure if it's in the deck. So, so Super Rod's coming down. Going to recover just energy, I assume. Really, a Beldum in energy. That's interesting. I would I would figured a Matang in energy. Because you got that Beldum on the bench already. No, you want another Beldum that has zero damage on it? Okay. I didn't think a 70 HP Matang was that big of a deal. A palm, you know, metal energy. Now they have a 50% chance of hitting 120, but can they get that third head? So you need three heads to get this KO. Ah, we live. We live. <laughs> So we can do that. Then we can refinement. Away the Ultra Ball. And Gardenia's Vigor. Heavy Ball. There we go. Let's grab a cute fly. So freaking cute. And it flies. And then. Queenly Heal will get the knockout. So that's what I'm going with. Queenly Heal. Come on. Flip Tails. Yes. There goes another Ambi Palm. Or is that the first one? Is that the first one? That might be the first one. All right. We are down to three prizes remaining. They have four. If we can stay on the lead of this, right? If we can stay being first will be fine i think we have five cards left in deck we're on a timer but hopefully not that big of a one super rod i would assume nothing but energy honestly nothing but energy at this point right this is their what third super rod so i would assume nothing but energy and just try to get energy out using metal maker i'm very interested to see what they choose do i get to see i forget if the animation shows me or not Okay, that was an Ambipalm, a uh, Matang, and one Metal Energy. How much Metal Energy do they play? Oh, they've been messaging me. Oops. Huh. Oh, let's see. One. Oh, they get the KO. Oh, well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24
How many super rods do I have left? <laughs> I only played the two. Have I played both of them? That's the part that I'm confused with. <laughs> All right, I got grass energy, so I can actually go for the uh, the the guaranteed KO, right? Well, it's not guaranteed; it's fifty fifty, but it's better than it taking multiple turns, right? So it did say zero. If it flips tails or heads, yeah. When it's bugging out, is it telling me what the result is gonna be? That's weird. <laughs> I don't know. I. Don't, I... I don't know if that's true. Can someone else confirm that they've clicked on an attack and clicked it when it said zero, you know, with an against an effect like this, and it went through, right? Like, that, that would be interesting to find out. So, yeah, let me go to trainers. Yeah, I've got one super rod somewhere. 50-50 shot if it's in the prizes or in the deck. Oh my gosh! Seriously? That is messed up. That's the way it flips sometimes. Oh man. Okay, come on. You're my last one. Can you pull this off? Uh, Artisan is a free look. So let's take a look. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad. Let's go ahead and we're going to refinement. Okay. So I can grass energy. See, so it says both of those are zero, right? Let's, let's see. If it flips tails, I know it's not bugged. But if it flips heads, I'm still questioning. Tails. Okay, it's not bugged. It's not bugged, everyone. We can go home. <laughs> okay. Grab another prize. Now they might be thinking, ooh, what if we just mill here, right? Like, what if we just wait till his deck runs out? My deck ain't gonna run out. That's the problem. So, uh, I'm, I'm gonna get Super Rod next turn. I'm gonna play that Super Rod. I'm gonna put back energy just a ton of energy right and uh yeah i'm probably gonna retreat into the rabombi after i roxanne one two three four five plus three that's eight roxanne that's gonna bring me down to two cards in deck i've got two prizes left that's perfect there they go they brought back nothing but mile energy that time good thinking i liked that strategy there's a matang cool 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 don't tell me the Metagross is uncommon, is it? Is it uncommon? I am not prepared for that if that's uncommon. It's got to be rare, right? It's got to be rare. What's going on here? Come on, speak to me. Okay, okay, two, two on the Ambi Palm. Or on the A Palm. Nice, nice, nice. What, two more, I'm assuming? No, zero more? Okay, okay. Technical machine evolution. Cool, cool, cool. Totally cool with that. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Oh, boy. And here I was, scared out of my mind. What? Don't, should I rock sand first? Because then I'll just get the super rod back. No, but I need an energy. So. Two, three. Done. Roxanne. I'm actually giving them one more card. That's funny. Retreat to the Rabombi. Rabombi. Take this KO. Now, that only gives me one because it wasn't during my next turn. Ugh, sometimes that's frustrating. <laughs> Heavy ball, of course. <laughs> All right, Ambipom, do you have the gust? Gust. The Gustavo. 
There's Metal Maker. Going, going for a higher percentage chance of knocking out the Rabambi. They do need two to get this KO. And if they don't, I think I'm just going to Plentiful Pollen. And that might be crazy. But I certainly am. Why did they put on the Matang? Are they going to are they going to attack with the Matang? No, they're not going to cuz they didn't get enough energy. But why did they attach it to the Matang? That's so weird. Okay, 50% chance whether or not I get this knockout. But let's see it. It says zero. Yes. Come on. Come on. Tails, baby. Ta I still deal the damage to myself. So now they just need two heads, which is really bad math for me. <laughs> If, if they get this, 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 uh, the two heads, oh my gosh. How many, how many energy are they going to pump on this? Still only three. One more metal maker. Oh no. Okay. Still only three. 33% chance I make out of this, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm alive for one more turn. One more turn, baby. Oh, man. <laughs> Come on. I ran out of cards. Oh, dang it. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for this match. Uh, again, uh, it's Smoothie Shake here, but on the Discord, that is uh, Resident Clinton. I'm pretty sure right now it's not showing me his full name. Um, what a match. Holy cow. I wonder which deck he's going to bring into the tournament or if he's going to bring in a completely different deck. I never did get to pull off the Rabambi combo in this match but you will see plenty of this deck next week because i'm recording this friday and the next week should be all the matches that i, I record from the tournament and um then right then twilight masquerade comes out and then i'm recording pre I'm, I'm recording planned content uh, during that time because I will be in a different state. So sadly, I won't be live that week and I won't be uh, making content that week. But, um, well, that's not a lie. I'm going to do a bunch of shorts. You'll see what I do. Um, it's the pack opening stuff that I normally do, but I'm going to do Twilight Masquerade packs. It's going to be daily. That's right, daily. Uh, but that's plans I have off in the far future. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look at what might be the only way we can pull off the Rabambi combo is in Popper, where deck uh, strategies are so limited, but yet so expansive, right? Uh, yes, you can have Switch. Yes, you can have cheap retreaters or zero cost retreaters, but this is, this is not the type of strategy to work in a full standard format so in popper it might work out and the prize trade will be beneficial at all times as long as we can pull off the combo so yeah sadly i didn't pull off the combo today but there's always next time right so thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and do all the YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, and stuff. And join the Discord. If you catch this when this goes out, join the Discord and get in the Popper Tournament. Cutoff is at noon Pacific. Uh, yeah, and of course, until next time, keep playing Jank.